Hello there, lovely people. Welcome to another DC News episode, and today this episode is dedicated 100% to my most anticipated game at the moment. Um, yeah, SMT5, this is what we're going to talk about today. But before we begin, I do want to let you guys know that we are currently running a giveaway on the channel for a limited edition Western Collector's Edition Fall of Man edition of Shin Megami Tensei 5. So I was able to get my hands on... Uh, well, two two collector's edition for the West. I'm giving away one, and I also got uh, one for myself, obviously. Plus, I got a Japanese collector's edition because there's some little things that I want in there that are not in the Western collector's edition. Here's how you get to enter. Now, the first thing that you have to do, I'm giving this collector's edition away for my subscribers of the channel, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. The second thing that you have to do, the most important thing to do, is to click the link down in the description below. It's a King Sumo giveaway, so you have to enter using this link. Very quick, very simple, it takes two minutes of your time. You enter this giveaway, and there's some additional things that you can do on the giveaway to get additional entries for the giveaway, getting more chance to win. Note that this is a worldwide giveaway, so even if it's a Western Collector's Edition of the game, the Switch is region locked and we will assume shipping fees, so we will ship the Collector's Edition wherever you are in the world. So that's a pretty cool giveaway if you ask me. Now without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. And of course I'm going to start with the first topic that I'm, I'm sure some of you guys clicked on this video for that exact reason, being how to get your hands on a Shin Megami Tensei 5 Collector's Edition. Now, let me go over how it how this whole thing happened with the collector's edition. Now the goal, the first plan was for Atlas to drop their collector's edition on Monday of this week, being June 21st, 2021 at 12 p.m. Eastern time. That was the initial plan. Now, as I'm sure you guys know, it didn't go as planned. So 12 o'clock arrived. Uh, we were all refreshing our pages and stuff and between 12 and 1 p.m. there was only one retailer a Canadian retailer that had the collector's edition up so that's how I got mine so I, in Canada we got pretty lucky because this retailer got it first which was not too late after the specific time but we were all refreshing the main website atlas.com slash smt5 and there was of course the collector's edition but when you clicked buy now that it was written links coming soon and we were waiting so throughout the day it was a complete mess almost no retailer got copies in uh eb games in canada got them in but in the in the, um, the united states and the other regions of the world it was a complete mess uh especially europe um now on the time of recording this video, Europe, you're, you guys are still waiting, which is completely awful. Um, I tried to contact Sega of Europe to get information. I talked to a PR person, and she told me that she would try to get information about when those collector's edition for Europe are going to go live. I am still waiting for an answer. I reached out to her on Tuesday, and I tried to contact her again today since I had no news. Still silent. So for now, they don't have anything to say. We're waiting, and they don't seem to know when they're gonna go live unfortunately make sure you follow me on twitter i will let you guys know europe or join the discord server we will let you know as soon as those collectors edition are up now for the west um for the united states it took a while but amazon had some gamestop had some and um best buy had some too at some point it took a certain time before they had them up and of course you heard me i'm using past tense they all sold out very quickly so now I'm here to let you guys know what I suggest you do to get a chance to get yours. It's not too late. Why is it not too late, you'll ask? Well, on June 23rd, 2021, Atlas West on Twitter, uh, which is the Western branch of Atlas, so this doesn't apply to Europe, unfortunately. This My tips here are really for everyone in the West. For Europe, what I suggest you guys do, make sure you join the Discord, make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'm here for you guys. As soon as I have answer, I'll notify you. So that's my tip for you guys. Unfortunately, what I'm about to uh, refer doesn't apply to you guys it's for the western brand so atlas west they said on june 23rd at 7 p.m thank you so much for the outstanding response to the fall of man premium edition of hashtag smt5 we're working on making additional copies available to retailers soon so no confirmation for now at the moment of recording this video it's still sold out everywhere so here are my tips for you guys I pretty much always get a collector's edition whenever there's one for a game that I really want, even if it sells out pretty quickly. That's my, the tip that I'm about to give you guys is also the way that I was able to get my hands on a PlayStation 5 
pre-order before launch okay so if you are in canada what i suggest you guys do is create a it, it's kind of a an, an hassle but it's worth it believe me what you have to do is create a twitter account and follow the user that i'm putting on screen right now his username is at l babins so l b a b i n z uh, he covers video game deals and updates in canada and he covered smt5 and collector's edition he will still cover it in the near future when there's going to be restocks so once you follow that good man make sure you click the notification bell and activate it which means that every single time that this man is going to tweet something you're going to get an alert and believe me he's really fast so uh, this man is the reason why i got my hands on the collector's edition for five and same thing for my ps5 so if you do that as soon as he tweets that let's say best buy canada has the collector's edition up you're gonna get a notification you click his link because he's also giving you the link you log in you buy the collector's edition it's all set and in the united states you guys have a similar person and of course i'm sure most of you guys know him he goes by the name wario 64 so at wario w-a-r-i-o 64 make sure you follow him ring the notification bell if you're in the united states just like El Babins, he covers Collector's Edition for SMT5. So if you do that, I'm sure you guys have more chances of getting your hands on a Collector's Edition. Another thing that you can do is join our Discord. We have a lot of very dedicated peeps in there, and they send the links as soon as they go live on any type of website for any type of region. So we had uh, Australia that got some yesterday. We always send the links. So those are my tips for how to get the Collector's Edition. But restocks are on the way, so don't give up hope, guys. Plus, you also have my little giveaway that you can enter and get a chance to win a copy. Now, let's move on to the next topic, a very interesting topic too, because we just got some very nice and beautiful SMT5 screenshot scans from the weekly magazine Famitsu in Japan. So let's look at those together. There's some very nice screenshots in there that I'm sure you guys want to look at. So the first screenshot that we have is a very nice one. It's actually the protagonist, which is in the train station. So you can see him talking to uh, a person that seems to be an employee of the train station. We don't really know what he says here because it's in Japanese and I cannot translate that, unfortunately. But he looks awesome and we know that he's gonna be, you're going to be able to travel in the metro station, possibly take the train around town as well. So that's very exciting stuff before you get in the other dimension being the Dahat. So very interesting stuff there. As we all know, Masayuki Doi is the uh, designer, character designer for this project. He draw and drew all the new characters. There's some new artwork that we can see of the protagonists of the Nahobino. They look great. They look awesome. We have full resolution screenshots of the uh two trailers that we got for now and we got a big a better look at demons that were shown in the uh demon reveals every single day ever since launch so they're really great looking you can look at them on screen right now we also have some new screenshot we have screenshots of sophia new demons mermaid etc and that looks really cool new artwork as well of the protagonist with the nice pose here um yeah, no, I, I probably shouldn't try that. <laughs> so he looks really nice too. Uh, I'm pumped for SMT5. Uh, you can also see a screenshot. I know someone translated the text that you can see on the screenshot that you guys are looking at right now on screen. And you can see the protagonist in a classroom. So yes, you'll be able to walk, walk around school and of course chat with people in, uh, in school. So we don't know how long you're going to stay in school, but you're going to be in school at a certain point. Now, if you guys didn't know, I did a podcast, a Demon Appreciation podcast on Tuesday with uh, other content creators we got Kat uh, Katana Riku Maka and March and it was a really cool podcast we chatted all about SMT5 our reactions to the trailer and all of that and we also speculated on various different things so I'm gonna link the podcast down in the description below if you guys are interested but the reason why I'm bringing it up right now is because we talked about the fact that uh, what happens before you get in Dahat is it gonna be like in Nocturne where you're in Tokyo then at a certain point the conception happens and then you're in the vortex world and you never go back to the old Tokyo, or are you going to be able in some type of mysterious way to uh, travel between the Dahat and the real Tokyo and spend time in Tokyo and Dahat as well? That would be really cool, but it was just pure speculation, and we talked about a lot of various things, various interesting things, including SMT board games and stuff like that. So if you're, if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure to listen to the podcast. Great episode, and thanks to my guests for joining me once again. Now, that's going to do it for this news episode, guys. Small episode, but I really wanted to get my tips for the collector's edition out of the way for you guys. I want you guys and not... 
scalpers to get it so honestly um please do yourself a favor use my tips and try to get a collector's edition good luck and good luck if you're entering the giveaway too and those were the new screenshots as well from Famitsu that we got for smt5 now as always if you want to stay up to date on any type of news when it comes to atlas Shin Megami tensei persona you are at the right place make sure to subscribe and most importantly ring the notification bell to get notified every single time that i upload to never miss out on any type of news thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye